Hey, I'm Aja A, and welcome to Sunshine Haze. Don't forget to check out all the links that I have listed down in the description box. And if you like the video, please give me a little thumbs up. If you have any questions after the video is over, feel free to drop them down below. I try to respond to everyone. And if you all know people interested in astrology, numerology, tarot, or whatever I'm talking about on this channel, go on and send them this link. And don't forget to hit subscribe. And of course, thanks for tuning in and rocking with me. May this info help y'all live your best lives. Peace. Hey y'all, welcome back, my Sagittarius sisters and brothers. Um, this video is for y'all, Sag Sun, Sag Moon, and Sag Rising. So blah, 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 before I get started, if you feel like what I'm saying that isn't resonating with you, it is a general video. You can check out your moon and or rising sign, which I will have a link down below in the description box for y'all, okay? Um, this is going to be the typical four card spread. We're back in business, back in routine, looking at the energy coming in for you or the energies that you need to be tapping into during the month of April any challenges or obstacles you might be facing during this month. And because we're mostly working with Aries energy for the month of April, we're looking at where you need to tap into that fire, that ram energy and take initiative. And as always, a soul message, something extra for you to take away with you from the spread, okay? So let's just go on and get started with these cards here and see what the month of April has in store for you wild Sagittarians. <laughs> All right, you guys. The first card that I have popping up in your spread is in the position of the energy coming in for you or the energy that you need to be tapping into. And you've got the card message here and it has this master number 33 right on the bottom. So right away, April is going to be a very popping month for you, a very spiritual month. A lot of stuff going to be happening for you on a subconscious spiritual level, okay? Um, this message card, I really... Like when I first pulled it, the, the main thing that I got was like, there's going to be some information coming in for you during this month, Sagittarius. There's going to be some sort of something coming in for you that just shows you the way or opens your eyes or just completely changes things for you. But you might have a little bit of a hard time dealing with it or accepting it. With this 33 energy here, um, 33 is the master teacher. Okay, 33 is here to teach you all the lessons of life and how to how to progress and grow and heal and love, right? So with this card resonating with that energy, what I pick up here for you, Sag, is, is whatever is coming in for you, no matter how it is presented, no matter how it presents itself, no matter whether it seems good or it seems bad, it seems wild, it seems crazy. Listen, we're in a really crazy time right now. <laughs> a lot of stuff going on. Um, no matter what this message looks like, whatever it is that you receive or whatever it is that you download, and don't I was gonna say instead of so I get the feeling that a lot of you are going to be hesitant to whatever it is that's coming in for you instead of being hesitant or instead of you know just completely disregarding it go on and see what it's about this is a fire this is a fire time we're underneath a fire lunar cycle in a fire season we're dealing with Aries energy here so it's a lot of it's a lot of action and a lot of change happening a lot of fire okay a lot of passion so whatever's coming in for you Sagittarius is um it's important and you need to go on and run with it and see see where that little fire is burning up into, okay? Um, I'm not going to stay too long on that card there because I want, I'll go deeper into it by reading your other cards. So we're going to get into the next one. The next card you have in your spread is in the crossing position. So this is in the position of the challenges or obstacles you might be facing during the month of April. And you've got the perception card crossing your message. So that goes on to further confirm what I was saying. Whatever is coming in for you, I'm going to just keep it real. I'm really getting this energy of like, I'm feeling like kind of restricted in my heart, <laughs> in my heart chakra. So I, I have this feeling that Sagittarius is something that you either don't want to let go of or something that you are very weary about or something that you're just like, uh, but that's not what I want. Or I put a lot of time and energy into this. I'm not ready to remove myself from it or to let myself go from it but this message coming in for you is very prominent this message is not listen shit does not pop up for us if it doesn't need to everything happens that's supposed to happen so whatever you're supposed to receive you will receive and what i can tell you is if you go with the flow and do the work that you're supposed to do things are a lot more harmonious now when you fight the funk <laughs> you feel me when you go against whatever cycles are coming in for you especially if they're karmic or especially if there are lessons attached to it that's when shit starts to get a little sticky and it starts to hit the fan so with this perception card if you watch my videos you know i talk a lot about being able to turn these crossing obstacle cards into a, uh, the kids are out that's the only thing with this shelter in place but my thing is your kids are supposed to be inside everybody's supposed to be inside no 
<laughs> anyways um i talk about turning these crossing cards into upright positions because we want this to be a supporting energy in order for us to be able to tap into the energy that we're supposed to be coming into so with this uh perception card here however it is that you're feeling about this change coming in for you whatever this little message is this little green moth butterfly thing whatever um however you're feeling about it you've got to take the initiative to say i feel this way about it but if you know me you know one of my personal mantras mantras is uh it's all about pers it's all about perspective look at it in a different light look at it and see what maybe it could be bringing in for you or what it could be shifting for you what it could be changing for the better allow yourself to see things in a way that you have not seen them and it will make the experience a lot more positive and it'll make whatever is shifting whatever is changing a lot more easy to accept okay now moving into the next card that i have coming up in y'all spread you've got the four of air popping up in that aries energy position this is where you need to you know tap into some fire your sister signs energy and be cardinal and actually take initiative okay um this is a card that has to do with organization but this is also a card about clearing house and prioritizing so with that message card coming in i'm gonna go so far as to say you guys are probably going to get some sort of notion that you've got to either let something go cut some ties or cut off certain relationships and you are not feeling it now with that being said there's probably reasons why you need to do so in Sagittarius you're smart you carry a very spiritual energy you probably are already knowing so I'm not even going to waste y'all's time or mine and add seconds and minutes to this video by going over what that could be but you need to prioritize and my message to you is Sagittarius what's important we are in Aries season you guys know what they say about Aries when they uh operate within their shadow aspects they call them selfish but selfishness is not always a negative or a bad trait okay sometimes you got to be selfish in order to get your shit together in order to make things really pop off for you and make your life turn and progress for the positive so priority la 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 <coughs> excuse me prioritize right now and prioritize with yourself if you're holding on to things or in situations or doing shit that is just not serving you or that you're no longer in alignment with, you've got to, you know, take it with a grain of salt, charge it to the game and do the shit that you need to do. Clear house, clean things up, lay the foundations that you need to lay. This is a four card and really look at it like it's for the better. Okay. Whatever it may be. Alrighty. All right, Sag, the last card that I have coming up in your spread is in the position of your soul message. And you've got the color blue here. And this card is, uh, it says activate your healing power. It's the number 37, which breaks down to 10, which is one amplified by zero. Um, with that being said, especially because I'm picking up on this energy of you possibly having to let go of something that you're not necessarily ready to let go of that you're gonna be in a space to where you need to heal you. So the month of April is gonna be very busy for you. It's gonna be a lot of fire. I mean, fire is also a cleansing agent. Fire burns shit up and clears shit out and clears up space, right? So whatever you're dealing with over here, at the same time that you're dealing with this, you also have to be actively healing from it too, Sad. So you, this is gonna sound really shitty, but you don't get time to sit and dwell and deal with your emotions. Like you can feel your emotions cause fire, passion, whatever, but you also have to, we're in the beginning of the springtime, we're in, you know, this cardinal energy. You don't wanna lay a foundation in carrying around heaviness. So as you go through these motions, clear it up, work through it, fill the, fill the feelings and also heal at the same time. And now blue, and I'm really quick, I was talking about the number 10, one, one is all about new cycles, new chapters, new beginnings. So whatever is happening over here is coming to a close so that you can come into your next chapter, Sag. Now, the color blue is associated with uh, the throat chakra, and that is all about communication and understanding. And I also associate this throat chakra with um, healing and and calming and emotions. Um, it's very close to the heart chakra. So during this month, Sag, especially with all this message energy, you're going to have to communicate some things. You're going to have to figure some things out. You're going to have to start to understand some things in a different way, shift your perspective. And um, I would also suggest doing some throat chakra work, working with some throat chakra stones that specifically are geared towards um, the mental. Okay. Um, like blue gold stone, lapis, 
lazuli uh, what else can i think of amazonite aquamarine um sodalite listen i google is free hop on google look up throat chakra stones um, but yes, April is a time where things are going to shift for you and it may not be the most smooth, most calm shift, Sag, but it is a necessary shift and you have to understand that this shift is happening so that you can do the things that need to be done for yourself, okay? And that is your spread. Hope it provided you with some insight. If you feel like you need to book your own personal reading, feel free to do so. I've got all that information down below in the description box i also have hella new videos up i've got an april pick a card reading um the aries new moon as well i did also do a coronavirus tarot reading because i just feel like the people need to know and then as you guys see the world has gone crazy we just had saturn move into aquarius so i put up a video about that as well all those links are down there in the description la 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 i'm done i'm done because apparently i can't talk to y'all all those links are down in the description box <laughs> thank you guys for watching i will catch y'all next time peace